This is another political robocall tip. Uh, I'm going to talk about testing your call before sending out to a large audience. Uh, generally, with the service I use, it costs a couple hundred dollars, $200, $250 to send a robocall out to a, a voter population of about 10,000. Uh, that's using current, uh, um, current call data. Uh, there's so many bad phone numbers, it's just hard to tell uh, how many numbers are, are going to go through. Uh, nevertheless, that's a, it's a pretty good chunk of change if you're a, a small candidate and your budget's probably under $5,000. So you really want to make sure you're getting the best use, even if you're only talking a couple hundred bucks. Um, when you do a call, first of all, you need to identify your audience. Uh, once you know what audience you want, uh, then you want to take a small sampling of that audience uh, to send a call out. Now the problems with many uh, with many campaigns is it's hard to say what precinct or what area has the uh, uh, is a good representative example. Uh, most of what I do is I cut cities up into four quadrants, and uh, and I know those quadrants are you know kind of which demographic lives in the quadrant and you know how wealthy the quadrant is, and and then I'll pick uh, two maybe three precincts that seem to be representative of that particular quadrant. It's a little tougher when you're going Republican, Democrat, or Independent and splitting up that way. Uh, nevertheless, you want to try to identify a precinct that has your demographic, your targeted audience, and shoot out about 100 calls. If you're going, yeah, yeah, 100 is a pretty good number. Uh, if 100 doesn't give you enough uh, completed calls, then you want to might, might be do another 100. Uh, you know, maybe do one precinct at a time until you know one way or the other whether you want to do this. But by all means, you know, it's very cost effective to send out 100 calls spending $3. And that's about what is three and a half dollars is what I'd spend on 100 calls. And because maybe 30 to 50 percent of those don't answer, maybe it's $1.50. And uh, in the check and see if this is a good message and see what kind of feedback you get on it. Um, because you, before you spend that $200. Uh, is this a call that you're going to use just to uh, uh, push your opponent in a different direction uh, because nobody wants to hear this message? Or is this a call that you want to set up and uh, target a specific demographic? Maybe you thought the call should go to, to everyone and maybe it looks like you should just be doing people over age 65. And uh, it might change everything you do by doing a test call, analyzing the data, figuring out who really wants this message. And then make a determination whether uh, you want to run that call a couple of times. You might have a message that is, uh, is very good and is very effective. Uh, and you might want to run that message to uh, do them one week and then and wait two, three, four weeks and run it again. Or it might be a message that makes your opponent very upset because it is a good message. And you might want to run it twice a week just to your opponent and the opponent's minions because that's a message that, that makes them nervous and makes them unhappy. Um, there's nothing wrong with sending that thing out twice a week to the opponent and the minions. Uh, just make sure you don't do it in a manner that's harassing. Do it the right times of the day and do it for the right reason. Good luck in your political campaign.